Hello diecast collectors. Uh, today I'm looking at uh, Auto World here. We're going to be opening up a few cars, but uh, just briefly, uh, a few years back I was just, I really didn't think of myself as a collector. I just collected Hot Wheels and uh, and Matchbox, and they were just mainline. And then the deeper I started getting into it, I started watching other people's videos because um, they were either interested in maybe in multiple brands or maybe one particular brand like green light or auto world so from watching other youtubers uh kind of got more of an insight of the brands uh which ones they were happy with and which ones they weren't which vehicles they were so it was kind of briefly describing their thoughts on uh, the type of vehicle that they've opened up or or bought or purchases so uh, so yeah i just uh kind of this is a way that uh, I'm hoping to uh, share the same way that you we watch other people just try to get some info on the brand or just for entertainment also uh, realize that uh, this is this is a, a really true adult thing um, to collect these vehicles these 164 die cast and then make it fun for putting that special cars in there for us older people um hunts and and uh, treasure hunts and uh, uh, their versions of uh, special unique findings so uh in this video uh auto world when i first started did not have any pickup trucks and now they do and i knew that as soon as i saw the first one and it was in pretty good quality and i liked the results of, of their their type of vehicle i would probably be buying buying more of the same castings and just in different colorways which um they have done a pretty good job this black one here has one of the previous ones i've opened up i think in the past year or so uh of it and i do like it this one's one of my favorite trucks uh the tailgate does open up these are metal bottom with the true 164 size wheels on it and then uh, they have opening hoods too which always kind of helps if you have a diorama or pictures you want to take and so this different different colorways and they've expanded in different different types of trucks here and in uh, lifted trucks which is really nice so I've tried to I think I've tried to catch on by all their trucks so far um, usually when they when a, when a brand comes out with a new casting they're always kind of hard to pick up and collectors like to collect them and pick them up as fast as they can come out so one good thing about ordering these offline at least you can get a chance to, to get certain ones if you can, cannot find them out in the wild but I've been shopping the last week and a half so I caught me another ones here different uh, brand here of Auto World I like that the, they're doing different card art things for them which is kind of nice so if you wanted to leave it on a card that's great it's got some they always put some premium facts on there but I am a die cast open collector and that means I will be popping this thing out of the package here Again, opening hood, and then the tailgate does come down. I say opening hood, but it came out. Sometimes you cannot get the hood open because of the paint. Sometimes it gets a little stuck, or they just get stuck. So I'm not gonna, not gonna chip away on on it. But uh, love the casting. I'm more of a Ford guy, but like I say I, I collect all kinds of die casts different side uh, different types different years I kind of tend to go to the older cars they've done auto world have done if you haven't collected on any cars pick up a couple of these and open them up yourself and and uh, see the detail very nice very nice nicely done next uh, this is a 71 Ford Mustang Again, getting some facts there. 
in the dark green poly. And the hood does open up. So that's a very nice clean looking car. If you're a Ford guy, a Mustang guy, and you wanted to uh, kind of collect a few of these models to display on your desk or whatever at home or on a shelf, these are really cool cars to display. Very nice. And they don't take up a lot of room, and you can have multiple cars too. That's, that's one thing I liked about these, the 164 scale. The inside is really done up good. You can see the shifter in there. Really nice. That's really nice. Awesome car there. <clears throat> Next we have a 67 Cadillac Eldorado. I really get into these. The Auto World really does a good job on these uh, Cadillacs. Kind of picked up a few of these cars. I don't know what it is about it. I don't know if I'm starting to show my age, but uh, it's a good old classic big car. Big white walls on there. The turn signal indicators and brake lights are painted on there, but very nicely done. It's just very cool. Like I say, that's one thing about this. Uh, Hobby, you can uh, collect whatever you want. The inside's done. I like the top painted. Kind of looks like a vinyl top, maybe. And, and that's what that's what's nice about uh, if they try to um, pay attention to detail with the rims and wheels. They're really spot on this is a, a different Cadillac here but uh, that recently picked up but it looks like a vinyl top right there just something that you'd see back back then so if you're not into these cars that's fine um, but as an adult as you get older these cars here you remember seeing them around and Kind of brings back memories. So I picked up this one. Um, it was it's a '67 Chev Chevy SS a while back ago, not too long ago, but about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, maybe. Like the uh, red pinstripe tires on there. So I picked up another one, which is. Same thing, 67 Chevy, which has got a little, it says, cape, cape or cream on her, whatever that is. So this one here, I notice it's got a little different rims on here. Black top. So, as a collector, sometimes they'll throw in what they call a chase car, or a special car, treasure hunt, whatever. And, um, guess what? So, Auto World, uh, the Ultra Red, it's a special paint and you know it's the big white tires but you notice that uh, this car here matches the white paint so this car here was supposed to have the car that had the white paint but this is my actually first chase car and as you know people will get these things and then they'll them on eBay then you have to buy them second hand and sometimes they cost you a little bit more than what you want to spend but uh, I actually found this in a wild meaning that I walked in the store and it was on the shelf without being it was one of the second one right behind another one and what caught my eye was the white tires which is good because or not I would have probably not paid attention to if you're just flipping through the cards um, you might not have caught it because I would have probably thought, oh, I already have a red one, but, uh, the red is different. I'll say an ultra red, as they call it. So it's a different red. 
So that's kind of cool. This is my first one. Uh, I need to probably take a picture before I side by side because you know what I'm going to pause my video because I, I wasn't going to open that but I think I'm going to I'm going to pause my video so all right I'm just sitting I'm sitting here contemplating that do I want to open that one up? This is my first one. I'm not a card. Uh, I like to open I really want to open that up. I was looking at the wheels here too. So it's supposed to be it's supposed to be this car as a chase. But you see the wheels? The wheels are not the same. Or just a steel you will which is fine I don't know I really like to open that up I'm gonna open this one up So these cars here, so it looks like it's got these wheels painted, but it should have had those, but I guess it doesn't really matter, it's an ultra red. I don't know, I wish I could talk to you guys live, because I've never had, this is my first one. What the heck? It's coming out of the box. I probably never find, I probably never find another one. But you never say never. Let's look at it. So it's really, like I say, it's, it's different red. It's more of a bright red. Even the windshield looks red. I thought the red, the windshield looked a little tinted. And of course the white wall, the big white wheels, which is kind of ugly. But. I guess I could always switch out tires <laughs> if I wanted to. If I had another tire I could fit on there. And then put regular wheel wheels wheel on there. But that's pretty cool. So it's a flat black top with the ultra red. My first ultra red, I guess, auto world chase car. Pretty cool. I never found one. And I and I won't buy. I won't spend extra money for unless it becomes a, a real special car that I really, really, really want. Um, I don't buy chase cars. Um, I just happen to get like green light cars. I think I think I did buy green one green light car, which is which is one the, with green wheels. Where I think I did purposely buy one because I really wanted it. Uh, I I just liked it. So. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I will post pictures at the end of the video of these cars on my sorry. On my at the end. So these cars. First chase car, really awesome. I say the wheels are a little weird up for it for me because you collect them for the realism, but then this is just considered a chase car, which is kind of fun. So, as an adult collector. Alright guys, thanks. Stay tuned for some upcoming more videos. Like I say, I've got some new stuff. Some more stuff. I've got some green light stuff. So, but uh, if you're into a brand of Auto World, or you kind of know what I'm talking about, if you want to move up, try something different besides just Hot Wheels all the time, uh, try Auto World. Um, you know, if you're going to buy a premium car, it's it's uh they do a really good job on on the detail, and uh, a variety of cars too. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. Happy hunting out there. Be safe. We'll see you.